what's up? It's Mike from MikeBack.com and in this video I'm going to talk about three months after my ACL surgery. So you may be wondering what I'm doing with this milk, but if you saw my last uh, blog post or video, I don't know if I put a video up on it, no I did put a video up on it, like how number one mistake skinny athletes make is not eating enough. Uh, yeah, it's, I, it's, a mistake that, it's a mistake that I make a lot as well and I weigh like 203, like 200 right now at 6'2". I want to weigh more like 210, 215. So I'm drinking whole milk after every meal. Try to drink like a big glass. I don't really like milk, but it's a really, really good way to get bigger and stronger. So that's what I'm gonna do. And anyway, yeah, that's just what I wanted to introduce the video with. So three months after ACL surgery, so let's check out the scar. Well, I'll show you the scar here. Let's see, where is it? There you go. Yeah, that's it. That's not that bad, you know? Just that big one. And then a couple small ones where they can't went in with a camera. And that's the only other one. So mainly, just mainly this one. Yeah, mainly that one. So the scar is almost healed. And it, I pretty much feel pretty good. I went to the gym like this morning, went to the gym yesterday. Yesterday I squatted 280 for three sets of five. I deadlifted 315. In a correctly performed squat, your ACL shouldn't be stressed, so it doesn't mean that much, but it means getting the strength back. I always try to put even weight on both legs when I'm doing it. Uh, in terms, so strength is coming back. The leg, my right leg, is still freaking smaller than my left. I don't know if you could tell, but it's like the this one is a little bit smaller. But I've heard it from other people, like even if you like work out on both, even if you work out both legs really hard, that one will always end up smaller. I think because they remove, if you do the hamstring graft, because I think they actually like removed like, like a piece of the hamstring tendon. So I don't know if it'll ever be uh, what it was, but it feels like I have a new knee pretty much. I've been running a little bit. I'm supposed, my doctor said for me to wait until the three month mark before I can start running and swimming because it's just like kicking with my knee, he didn't really, really want me to do it. I started running at like 2.5 mark, I just started jogging and there's this big hill near my house and you can check out the blog post, I've shown a picture. I live at uh, near Earl Bales Park, and there's a huge ass hill and I ran up the hill. I would like jog up the hill, walk down. I did that the first day three times and then my knee was okay. Then next time I did my cardio workout. I went there, I ran up the hill four times, and you know, walked down. It worked, worked out. Then last time I did it, I jogged up the hill five times. So it's good. The knee doesn't hurt too much. I don't really wear a brace for it. The like brace makes it feel super sweaty, and like I don't know if it does anything. I know there's some really really expensive braces that like completely prevent it from like moving side to side, which let you just like probably. You know what, when I, when I do my running workouts, I'm going to start wearing the brace because I don't want any funny business when I'm running. I don't want like my knee to like, you know, go off to the side or whatever. By the way, the hill that I'm running, it's all grass. So that's another thing. I'm just jogging up this really steep hill. It's, the hill is so huge and so steep, you can't even run up it. Like you just have to jog and just hope that you survive up the hill. So it's perfect. So I just get to go to a nice smooth pace. And it works for me. One thing that like still hurts though, let me see if I can show you, is like, here, there you go. So this is fine, this is fine, this is, eh, like once we start, if I were to go on my toes and like really put, see, hear that sound? So here I'm okay, here I'm okay, here I'm okay. But once I start to go like here, and if I were to put weight on this leg, it kind of hurts a little bit. Like, like whenever I get up, it makes this crunching sound. But you know, like it doesn't hurt that bad. Once I'm warmed up, the crunching sound goes away a little bit. I think that's just part of it. 
Um, and that's it, you know, like I'm gonna go back to Jiu Jitsu in like two months, hopefully. And that's my, that's my plan, two months. The doctor said I should wait three more months to make it six months after the surgery. But I don't think I'm like a normal, like, patient that he has. I think, uh, like, for athletes and stuff like that, I don't know. I just kind of take me into my own hands. And the first month I come back, I'm going to start light. I'll probably be wearing my knee brace when I do just at least for the first month. Just anything to, like, give me a little bit extra stability. Even though it makes my knee super sweaty. And I'm like, I don't even know if it actually does anything. Like, but, you know, whatever. I, I just got like a like a cheap one. It's not like the one with like plastic things holding the sides of the knee. What else can I tell you about the three month mark? So yeah, I mean, I, you just saw me do like some squats. Like you saw me, you see me working out on Instagram, YouTube. Pretty much back to normal. I was getting. I work out every day in terms of frequency. So I do lifting, strength work every other day, and I do cardio like in between. So one day I'll lift, the next day I'll do car a cardio workout. Could be hill sprints, could be what I did today, which is my, my gym has like a boxing bag. So I just did some boxing there. And then I did like a bunch of burpees. Sometimes I do the spinning class. So I do like lifting, cardio, lifting, cardio, lifting, cardio. And I work out every day. I've been working out every day for like a month, just like once a day, but every day. And so far feeling good, feeling like the knee's getting better. Been trying to eat more lately so I can get bigger. And drinking this milk, I literally like hold my breath every time I drink the milk. I know some people can just like down it. I don't really like the taste of it, it's whole milk. But it's really good for getting bigger. Powerlifters recommend drinking like a gallon of milk a day, but man like, I'm not there yet. Like last week, I just did two of these glasses a day. This week, I'm trying to do three glasses a day. And then just getting up there. All right, if you have any questions about, you know, ACL injury, ACL surgery, what to expect, you guys see the three month update. You saw the scar, you saw what I could do. Um, yeah, that's about it. In terms of, by the way, in terms of how quickly you can start squatting, everyone's different. This is not medical advice, but I did read some cool stuff. Um, most of you guys know about Mark Ripto, which is the author of Starting Strength. He's just a well-respected strength coach. And it, he's not like super duper like in shape. He's kind of like a fat guy. He's like 50 something now. When he was 38, he got um, his ACL replaced. And he, was, he squatted 225 after eight weeks for five repetitions. So since I'm at 12 weeks, I'm like, you know, I could start, you know, like pretty much squatting normally. As soon as I could, I knew that like after the injury for me, this is how I did it. Like as soon as I could squat all the way down with body weight, I was like, okay, I'm good. And then I'm going to add the bar. And then as soon as I could comfortably squat with the bar all the way down, even weight on both legs, not favoring any one side. I'm like, okay, cool. Next workout, I added like five pounds. Next workout, add five pounds. And, you know, work out like every other day. That's what I got. So, yeah, that's what worked for me. I don't necessarily recommend it for everyone. You know, I was very athletic before. And this is more like just for athletes and stuff like that. If you have any questions, hit me up. None of this is medical advice. Have a nice day.